Hi and welcome to the channel. In this video I finished the rudder off to the point where it could be covered. I changed the profile at the front end of the rudder to one that's more pleasing to me, slightly different from the plan. And so that requires a little bit of extra work. At the back end of the video I tell you how you could do it without going through all the issues which I go through in this video. I round the edges and get it all ready to go. Remember, this is not an instructional video, this is just how I do things. I try to pass on some hints and tips which you can take or leave. So let's get this rudder finished. front edge of the fin uh, doesn't naturally lie with the same front section of the rudder so my initial thoughts were I got it wrong I got the bow wrong uh, you know, it must have allowed it to flex out so I double checked the bow here against the, uh, the plan it matched the plan and by taking my bevel gauge by uh, putting the bevel gauge against the uh, the fin there with this uh, lower rib which is uh, parallel to the top rib and should be parallel with the uh, with the, the uh, rudder lower rib yes definitely that is you know the angle means that that chops off there and I used that on the plan I put that against the plan and lo and behold it showed the same thing so again another still shows you uh, what that was like so how am I going to uh, rectify this because this is going back about uh, two laminations so about a quarter inch so I'm going to put a piece of quarter inch wood in here which I'm going to shape uh, but also taper so that it comes up to around about this position here. Okay, so I've made this uh, this repair section. It's uh, longer than the taper that's going to be taken off. Uh, the idea is that this is going to be flexed into here the same way as the lamination uh, is. And from measuring the thickness that the lamination is, that the current lamination side is. Uh, with this in position measuring across it's near enough the same thickness and I've got a little block which will just go into there to allow this to key in. So here we are I've bonded in the uh, strip and as you'll see it's got a flex in it and it goes past where the uh, section was which I've drawn that needs to sort of come off and that way it allows me just to be able to taper or round this area back a little bit to get the curve so it's flowing curve so the next task I've got is I'm going to be cutting this off here which I'll do with a saw and then uh, sand it so that it's a nice flat area okay I've sanded this uh, cut and sanded this back two laminates this one and this one matches up with the thickness there I've checked the measurement going around it's the same so I've maintained a parallel line this has been rounded slightly to uh, match so we've got a nice curve it's going from a straight to a curve it doesn't have a, a sudden kink in it I've already sanded this bit down to a taper so I can route back to put my inserted gusset in uh, all I did was I just carried the line on from the, uh, the end of the rudder uh, line, rib line here uh, and pass that around so I can do that initial chamfer the same way as we did the uh, leading edge of the fins. The uh, problem is now completely solved uh, just to clear some bits up uh, to make sure that uh, you don't think that I've just jumped into things without thinking about it. Uh, we've cut back two laminations at the uh, thinnest point added on material here which is the same thickness but it's made up of a single lamination 
the uh, slope here uh, the at the worst it is close to 1 in 12 which is still an acceptable scarf angle this has been tapered back closer to 1 in 15 so in theory the uh, joint strength here should be the same as original as a stress engineer I've done the calculations and the loss of material but the regain of material means that we've got less than one percent of differential and looking at the uh, the weight side of it it's come out at approximately the same weight i weighed the this uh, whole assembly before i uh, started doing the repair section then I sanded it and did all this little lot and weighed it again and uh, and that was before we we cut back here so uh, it was of the order of about three grams difference in weight so negligible one might say moving on from this bit i'm now going to go into starting to round the bow or shape the bow so from here to here it's going to be shaped the same way as the fin leading edge using the template from the fin leading edge so look at the video there which should uh, hopefully uh, give you a link to it then there's a second line here and, it, and I've got round written on there uh, from here going all the way around the bow to the point there uh, it will be carried out uh, with uh, the rounding off method I used for the tailplane the, the horizontal stabilizer and elevators so you can see that in the video links there going down to the bottom end here I will do a slight round over uh, once I've completed the boxing in so that won't be in this video and that will then have to transition into the uh, into the half round uh, that we've got going on here or the near enough half round we've got going on here so there'll be a transition section so the rudder is complete as far as i can go uh, till i get some more hardware so i can do the rudder horn fit the hinges uh, if you've bought the kit and they've got the covering at this stage uh, you could cover if you wanted to uh, go with the sort of standard fitment of the horns I've uh, done all the shaping around the trailing edge and the leading edge so it matches up with the profiles and as you can see uh, I did that modification uh, here to get the lines all uh, all flowing and straight with the fin I'm really quite happy with the outcome on that uh, the way to get around that if you if you want to follow the same sort of line far better than doing this sort of inset repair that I ended up doing is you just simply draw the lines on the plan to where it should be and add a block and then do your laminations that would mean you'd have a slight change in the angles on uh, this this bottom rib here uh, and that would be pretty much the only modification you, you the blocks would uh, just naturally fall into position if you cut them to fit so this is uh, the state I'm at now in the next build video because I'm going forward with the uh, the Fisher build uh, I will be uh, going through the uh, fitment of hinges but we'll have to wait for hardware and bits to arrive for me to do that so in the meantime uh, look after yourselves and catch you later bye now Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.